feel like people haven't been taking you seriously in life since childhood and maybe up into adulthood, well, I'm going to share a inner child healing session that I just did with a client in case it helps you on your journey as well. I go to my client's energy field and I meet with 15 year old version of her and I said, Hey, how's it going? How are you feeling? And she said, I feel like nobody takes me seriously. And I said, do you feel like nobody takes you seriously or you can't take yourself seriously? And she said, mm, both. I said, okay, well, let's go somewhere where we can go chat and have fun and hang out because, you know, teenagers, working with teenagers is different than working with inner children. Okay, you gotta be cool. <laughs> Okay. and do the things that they want to do. So I asked her and she said, let's go to the mall and go shopping. And I said, great. And then we went and got coffees and uh, we went to go get pedicures. And when we sat down in the salon, I said, hey, let me take you somewhere that's even cooler. And so I took her to an intergalactic salon where there was all these different beings. She's like, oh, this is awesome. If we're not feeling like people are taking us seriously, sometimes that's because, because we don't feel that way internally. And whatever you're feeling in here is what you're going to be an attractor for. And sometimes that's not our fault, however, because things happen to us in childhood, trauma, PTSD, things that cut at our self-worth, maybe like abusive parental relationships, a whole assortment of things. However, all that stuff gets banked back in your subconscious. And even though consciously as an adult, you don't want those type of relationships in your life, your inner children or your teens who lived and learned those dynamics are going to seek those because that's what's comfortable. That's what they know. That's what they know how to traverse. And then if it happens over and over and over again, those relationship dynamics, then it starts to set in as our truth. And this is all that is available to us in our reality. And so I was explaining to her, her inner teen, that you have to change your self-concept, the way that you see yourself, your self-worth, your confidence, in order to find people who treat you with respect. She said, well, I don't feel smart enough or that I know enough. And I said, well, you're not going to be the all knowing like nobody is. He <laughs> said, there are always going to be people that know more than you about certain things. And you're going to know more than other people about certain things. We're talking about how it's so important to find people who are quote unquote smarter than you, but are levels above you that you can learn and grow and evolve with. Because if you're surrounded by people that are on the same level, which there's nothing wrong with that, but if that's all there ever is around you, then you're not going to grow and evolve and be more wise and have more knowledge. So you have to push yourself out of your comfortability zone and find some mental Tours. Find some people that have qualities that you want to possess, that you want to embody, people that are living the type of life that you want to live and surround yourself with them. And that's how you actually make the shifts and pull in your soul tribe members that are really good for you in your life. He said, being the smartest person in the room feels really good temporarily, but that is a fleeting feeling. We discussed the difference between having relationships in our life based off of compatibility and commonalities. So commonalities is like, oh, we both have two sisters, or we really like jazz, or we both, you know, grew up in Vermont. Compatibility is y'all having similar values and truths and beliefs and similar soul missions. Those are relationships that are going to be there for the long term. And not necessarily that you have to have the exact same, right? But you want to find deeper rooted relationships with people, not just things that you have in common. What you really needed was a self-empowerment talk, okay? <laughs> if you're like, girl, you're super special and you're awesome. And we need to proudly display that out into the world. So then I asked her if there was any other inner children that needed support. And she said, oh, there's actually a different girl from a different timeline that needs your help. So I called her through the ethers and she was about eight years old. And I said, hey, do you want to go shopping with us? And she was like, yes. And so we were walking around drinking our coffees and I asked her if there is something that I could support her with. And she said, yeah. And she showed me her fingers and her hands and they were kind of like mangled and burnt. And she said, my hands are never going to be pretty again. And I said, oh, what happened to you? And she said that her grandmother and her got in a car wreck when she was really young and it like burned her fingers and they got, you know, like messed up. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. And it also was causing a lot of pain, almost like what I would think arthritis would be in your fingers. And so she had just been dealing with that for a lot of years. 
asked her if she would be open to me healing them and she said yes <laughs> and so I transported us all to this uh, healing pool it was like this beautiful waterfall and I said you can actually stick your hands in there and then pull them back out and it's going to send like quantum healing and Reiki and light language and light codes and so she put them in pulled them out and she's like oh my gosh they're healed <laughs> said, yeah a lot of that has to do with you know you trusting that this is even in the realm of possibility and also trusting us to take you here and having belief and faith in in yourself I asked her if she wanted me to use some concealing magic on her hands because I was like when you go back to your other timeline your family and friends are gonna be shocked that your hands are just all of a sudden healed and she was like no I'm just gonna tell them it was a miracle and I was like okay girl <laughs> I like your style very confident and bold and self-assured and I told them it was both lovely to meet them. They were super sweet and it was great to go shopping with one another and do all the girly things. <laughs> and so I would love to hear in the comments if this resonated with you, if you learned something new, and if you would like some inner child healing and would like me to go in and speak with them so that they can have mindset shifts, release, things from the past, PTSD, trauma, receive some Reiki and quantum healing, you can schedule one. Or if you want to learn how to access these planes within yourself, you can sign up for the Quantum Evolution Academy and you can find both of them in my bio, in the comments or the description box below.